Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and uh, this week we're going over Combat Tag, which is a critical plugin for anybody who uses a heavy PvP server. If you're running like a prison server with PvP zones or a, a warring server, this is um, great for if people start getting into combat um, and they're starting to lose, they just log out and their stuff is safe. This uh, combats that in two ways. There's two ways you can set up. One, you can have it spawn an NPC player with all of the player's items, and you can kill that NPC and get all those items and XP and all that stuff. Um, or you can just turn that off, and then you can just have them immediately die when they log out, and they lose all their items. It's spewed everywhere, and anybody can get it. Um, pretty quick, pretty straightforward, all, not really any game stuff that we have to do, but, um, so we'll just hop into the config file. You run it, you know, throw the jar file in your plugins folder and, uh, hit start on your server and then shut it down. You'll have this config file here. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, the... Um, all right, so we'll go through the, some of the settings here. The tag message, uh, so this is what shows up when somebody attacks somebody. This is what shows up to them. You've been hit by the player, type CT, to check the remaining tag time. Um, this one will block. Um, you know, I'm not actually sure what that one does. We'll leave that one. The other one is don't spawn in World Guard regions. So if, it, if you're in a re if they go run to a region where uh, PvP is off, or something like that, um, they it won't spawn the NPC there. A um, few other things: only damage damager is tagged, so only the, the, if you only if you get hit, um, you're the only one who gets tagged, not the person who's tagged, uh, who's doing the tagging. Um, and then it also show them how long they've been tagged for. If you do a slash ct, this is the message that'll show up. Um, or if they're not in combat, uh, you can disable certain commands while they're in combat, like TP, stuff, fly, stuff like that. Um, now this is what changes how the whole thing operates. You put insta kill on true, and when they log out, it'll kill them immediately rather than spawning the NPC. I personally don't really see the purpose of the NPC, so I just put this one on true and then let it go. Um, th this will be the NPC name, so you can call it like loser or coward or <laughs> whatever if you want to do that. Um, you can turn this uh, send message when tagged. Uh, you can have it message somebody. Uh, you can block the teleport. Now, I found this useful for if you're running like a survival games plugin or anything that will teleport players around as well. Uh, you can put this one on true or on false and it won't block teleportation from plugins, but then it also won't block like TP plug it, uh, teleporting, stuff like that. Um, so it's key. I probably just put it on true. And then what you can do, um, this is what I do, is in the survival games world, because it's a separate world, you can set um, the permissions to ignore. So we'll go over the permissions here in a moment. Um, so the permissions is um combat tag dot ignore that uh, means the player is ignored from all combat tag stuff you got combat tag dot reload which is pretty much just an admin command and combat tag dot wipe which will wipe all npcs from the map from any combat tags um so if you have a, a plugin that that requires teleportation like i do like the survival games you can just put it for combat tag dot ignore just for that world and then you have the tag duration here, obviously, uh, 10 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever you want. And then you can also, oh, here you go. If you don't want to do the ignore thing, you can just disable it in certain worlds. That works too. Uh, you can also block ender pearl usage once you get into combat, which uh, I think that's kind of cheap. Leave it open. I don't know. What depends on what you want to do. You do what you want. So, um, and then also the message from the person who is tagging. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's straightforward. You can pretty much run it just default and it'll work. You might have to do some tweakings depending on plugins you run. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And this is Kaz uh, with Minecraft Friends. And as always, uh, enjoy the game. Ah, you little piece of shit. Oh, oh.